Florence is absolutely massive. We have grown a ton. I am really, really feeling the AE tweaks that were made in 1.32. And I'll be honest, I love it. I've had a lot of people that have said something, you know, like, oh, you know, 1.32 was a buff for the Ottomans because AE was reduced. And while I agree with that, it also is a buff for every single other nation. So you can go as large as you want, right? So, I mean, yeah, the Ottomans are overpowered this patch. They're definitely stronger this patch. Anybody who's been walking my, watching my Ethiopia campaign would agree with that. However, the player is able to take so much more clay. Like that last episode or one of those episodes where we took this entire state, that was huge. That would give you a coalition before this patch. So I think that is great. Welcome back everybody to Flavor Universalis. I hope you were all having an absolutely wonderful day. If you wouldn't mind, please take a moment, leave a comment down below and tell us about your day. Tell us about what you were up to today, what you have going on later. If you have anything fun planned, I'm always curious to hear about that. I've been taking a look through our mission tree. This one we will be able to do literally like whenever we want. Um, okay. So it looks like this guy just doesn't count, I assume. Employing a level three admin advisor. Okay, cool. So we should be able to do that, but I guess I'll just have to come back to him. Let's go with a vanilla one and see if that will resolve that. Yes, it will. So 20% advisor cost and all power cost for 30 years. That's pretty good. I can definitely live with that. I don't care about this, but it will contribute to our uh, dev cost because all power cost affects dev cost. So, which also goes into this one here. All provinces in Tuscany are prosperous, which is very close. We are within two to three months of it happening. Then this one here, we have to be Tuscany. So that one's going to hold off. This one is to have this province here, Ravenna. We do not have a truce. We have a truce with them until November. Uh, so I'm going to prepare my armies. I do not know exactly if we are going to attack them or not. I'm going to try my best to threaten them for it. That that would be the ideal situation here. So if we take a look over here, I was dev in this. I think we're probably good to do a little more dev, though, to be honest with you, I think I'd rather not. I would rather dev up Milan or uh, what's going on over here. Montferrat is decent. Like These provinces are not very good for dev. Hmm. I suppose if we just wait for this prosperity here, we can dev our home state a little bit. Yo. Okay. Whatever, dude. That's fine. So we now have our prosperity here, which will give us national unrest, average monarch lifespan, 20%. That's pretty good. That allows us for the elections and then uh, be less likely to be stuck by plague events. I like that. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So this one, we have to be Tuscany. This one, we have to be Tuscany. This one, we have to build universities. That's obviously a few uh, decades off. So no worries there. Um, we need to build this building here. Let's see here. Holy smokes. So we have to be careful about our aggressive expansion here. These guys love us. I'm going to ally France and I'm going to immediately attack these guys because only Geneva is going to join them. They have 14,000 units and I have 27,000. So we're in a very good spot here. I have claims on his entire country. So, uh, that's pretty solid though. What I want to do actually, before we do that. Let's see here. Where are you guys going, huh? Are they in a war? Oh, free stability. Well, heck yeah. What else have we got here? Stability is uh, super nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's definitely the move. All right. France wants a royal marriage. So now I have France and Austria as allies. Is this a unification war? It is. Yeah. I can live with that. These guys are probably rivaled. So I think initially, eventually I'm going to have to pick one. All right, so as soon as this truce is over with these guys, I want to... Oh, I am at war. It's true, I am at war. Um, I'm going to exchange some of these for trust with them, and I'm going to separate piece out of this war. ASAP. We are integrating Sicily, and we're almost done with it, which is great. Um, manpower in Niza? Or Cesari. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. What is that right here? There you go. We can still take this tech like super cheap. That is crazy how cheap our tech is. I will begin currying favors with France because France is going to be a really important ally for us in the long term, I think. And I will grant those trip favors as well. I think they nerf the amount of favors that you actually get. At least it feels like it, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Integration is a slow process. We will full, we will full state everything down here. There's no reason not to. I know I could have gotten Malta. It's fine. I'm really not bothered by it. So let's have you guys come over here. Now, his allies are probably... No, no, no. Nice. 
Okay. Um, we just need to piece out of this war here. As long as France isn't going to join, I don't, I don't care, honestly. Okay. They're on high enthusiasm. Okay, they're going to actually peace out very soon, so I actually don't need to. Worry about it, rather. Oh, no, I'm losing innovativeness anyways. Take a look at that. Let's upgrade our regiments to more damage. And they, we just need to wait for these guys to peace out. As long as France won't join, I do not care. And it doesn't look like they're going to, as long as they have this leader, who's 37. That's a good, uh, some good numbers there. Come on, dude. You're at 93%. Vassalize them. Subjugate them. And we are... Very good. Very good. Very good. I will gain no money, sadly. Okay. Anyways, what I wanted to do was see if I could threaten them for uh, Ravina. No. Sadly. Who do you guys have as an ally? France. <laughs> Well, hmm. so I guess the question is, is which would I rather have? Because I don't think I'll be able to take this whole state. But with France and Austria as my allies, I guess there is no time like the present to uh, just say YOLO and go for it. So let's do this. And uh, let's have these guys brought up here with our bullets. I do not mind. I can take this tech right now. Yeah. Oh, we need to embrace uh, colonialism here. So how far off are we for that? Oh, uh, we're not getting it anytime soon. All right, well, that's fine. I'll just take these texts then. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, safe to say Florence is uh, the king of the world when it comes to technology. Let's see if we can get these guys occupied ASAP. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. They're going to actually... Ah, they're coming for me. All right, let's... um. That's going to be a battle. Sadly. All right. This is fine. No big deal. Yep. We get a wall breach here. And just like that, we actually got their capital. Ship consolidate. Head on in. That might even be a wipe. It was not a wipe. But we'll be able to uh, get them out of there pretty quickly. Very good. So, in this war... I would like to take all that. That's probably too much AE. No. Oh my gosh. That is totally reasonable. So we need to improve with a couple of OPMs over here. Uh, Geneva is the big one. There, I can't improve with them, but I like Constanz. Let's improve with them. One moment here. All right. Yeah, let's improve with a couple of these guys. Just make sure that our aggressive expansion is not uh, going to hold us back there. Let's also get you over here. Austria is attacking Hungary. Um, Austrian conquest of Sopran. All right. Sounds good, man. And let's get up here to these guys. Let's come on over here. We just want to siege them down. Now, in the meantime, I'm improving my relations with everybody up here just to make sure that they don't join a coalition against me. Like these guys are not going to be able to join. Mole House as well. You just got to make sure you have at least like 50 relations with them and you're, and you're good to go. I don't care about this war. It means nothing to me. That's going to be some massive conquests in this war, though. Look at this. Well, hold on a minute. They got some rebels. Oh, no. All right. Let's peace you out. And uh, as long as we have a huge, nice, long truce with them, they will not be able to uh, join a coalition against me. Right? So that's how that works. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, yo, yo. They got some mercs. Hey, that's pretty good. Good on you. Okay, well, I suppose rather than that, we'll do like that. That frees up that eight stack there. And now you guys are going to peace out Ulm, Augsburg, Württemberg. Okay. So, let's hear Württemberg, 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 right here. Let's have you guys improved. And then mine's improved just a little bit, just a couple of months. Like one month is actually fine. And uh, that is good. Yeah, that'll probably allow us to peace out now. Augsburg, Ulm. So Ulm and Augsburg. Give them like three months here. Let's have you guys come on over here. Easy peasy. As long as these guys are over that uh, 50 some mark, 
and we'll we'll take it right before the yearly tick as well and we won't need to worry about a uh, coalition which is incredible right so let's see here this is not level three yet we get an extra missionary i don't really care we're gonna stay catholic and most of the land we're taking over the reformation has just started and it's all in northern it's only one center in northern uh germany right now so that is fine let's uh build this guy over here in pisa Now I am collecting over here, so let's get another say, trade center built over here as well. That is fine. Yep, that's good. We also need another one down here in Palermo. Gonna be making big money. Buckets of ducats, as they say. All right, so now right before the yearly tick here. Go down, there you go. And you can wait to the very last day if you want, but we're gonna take all of that. No coalition will form because Milan and uh, Geneva will have a uh, really long truce with us. And I believe Provence does as well. So we might as well 100% them. We will not yoink. I don't think so. A court all. And just like that, we got in another another entire state. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, sadly, it's not what I needed for the mission. So we're going to also have to attack these guys. I will co-belligerent the knights. Uh, I will not co-belligerent the knights, but I will take that province there. So you guys will come here. And you guys will come here. And these guys, let's make sure that uh, they're... Okay, they do have a huge galley fleet. All right. Let's upgrade our ships as well. Uh, it's only one ship, the heavy ship. That's fine. Let's get down here and see what we can do with the, uh, the Knight's Navy here. Yes. Kill the Venetian fleet. Yes. Destroy them all. Yes. That's what you get. All right, here they come. All right, let's have you guys come over here. They want to come up onto this mountain fort. Oh no, anyways. <laughs> Who cares? Not me. So let's get you over here. Now we're going to come just like this. Very good. And we're also going to... Ah, oh, they started running, sadly. So you can't sally out. You can't sally out if they're going to run. I'm going to scorch this province as well because the province, the fort there will... Uh, remove the devastation in, in a timely manner. So that is all fine and dandy. I will make sure that I am taking what I need here. So how many transports do I have? Seven. Uh, it's not quite enough, honestly. So let's get a couple more uh, transports built up here. We need to get a flagship as well. All right, so let's get some some transports here. And let's build a flagship here in Siena. The Medici, how, what a fitting name. Uh, we'll go with morale, engagement width, and move... No, let's go with movement speed. That's my... Uh, those are my preferences for the uh, for the siege. Or for the, the guy there. The uh, the flagship, though, you know, the thing. And just like that, we are ripping through this guy, man. Engineering ideas is so good. Uncontested, my favorite non-vanilla idea group. All right, so Hungary has uh, returned a core of them, but they took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. Oh my gosh, this border gore is crazy. Austria, what is you doing, baby? <laughs> That's good, I like that. That's good. All right, so these guys will come down here. Oh, not you. Let's, um, let's see here. Let's get these galleys grouped up down there. Is this a galley that's doing a mission? It is. Okay, that's fine. Let's have these guys come down here. And uh, let's get our... Get an admiral, of course. A 1-2 admiral is better than a 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
Let's have these guys head in here. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Beautiful. And uh, these guys now go back one province over here. I get a repair tick. They don't. We come out and uh, we clap their navy. And just like that, they're done, right? These guys are on a Hales Fort. Doesn't matter to me. They're probably going to flee one province over. No, they will not. All right. Well, let's get these guys here. Where are you fleeing to, huh? Nowhere interesting by the looks of it. All right. We have an election. Petro has died at the age of 71. What a legend. Uh, so these guys, he is not good. So I guess we get a reprieve here. Um, as far as our next idea group, which is going to be the determining factor of what kind of ad, uh, advice we're going to pick. Trade makes the most sense generally. Uh, engineering gives improved relations, which is nice for uh, aggressive expansion reduction uh, because it affects how much it decays. Um, let's take a look here. What else? What's the other idea we have? Innovative. What does innovative pair with trade? Does it say? Too much, too small to see it, sadly. Let's go with a Diplo guy. That's fine. He's older, 51. Very solid. Let's get you guys wiped out over here. Let's get you guys wiped out over there. Very good. And uh, Venice is dead. So now these guys have their army down here, which is hilarious because what that means is that we get a free pass to walk right onto their capital. And uh, meanwhile, they're over here with their 52-day siege ticks. Not bad, right? Silk will now be produced in Como, huh? Um. So, cloth is solid. Well, didn't I need a mission for cloth? All right, we got that done. So, cloth is three and silk is four. So, that's fine with me. Yeah, it's even in our home node. So, that's solid there. We need to state this up as well, of course. That full state is going to be really good. We have a bunch of trade centers to be upgrading as well. These guys are just taking their sweet time, aren't they? Let's get those cannons on there. Let's barrage that as well. The sooner we win it, the better. They do have decent siege ability, or uh, siege defense, rather. We have so much mana to be spending. Holy smokes. That's a lot of development we have coming. What a good episode for Conquest, huh? Provence is no longer a valid rival. Sucks to suck, dude. All right. There we go. I will take Ravina and I will take Malta. That AE is super manageable on the yearly tick. So let's, uh, let's just do a couple of these clicks just to... Uh, yeah, sending a gift is fine. Oh, yeah, totally. That will prevent those two from joining. Memigan as well. Yeah, totally fine with me. Look at that, man. Coalition is not even going to be an issue. Geneva, Switzerland, huh? So Switzerland, I think maybe I should improve with. And then who else we got? Provence and Geneva. So Geneva is, is out. That's good. Milan, I don't care about. Paper will not be produced. Where? Trapani? Where's that province at? Is that a province down here? Trapani. Very good. Paper is a solid trade good. A special. Oh my gosh, yes. Take a look at this. Fish is really bad. 250. It's going to go up to 437. My man. And we get free mana. Oh my gosh. Is this, can this campaign get any more, like, not worthy? All right. Right here before the end of the year, we are going to peace out here. I'm not going to take any more. I will instead take all your trade power and then all of your money. And just like that, we have one mission done. At least I think we do. Might need to core it first. That's fine. Malta is ours, which is solid. Now, let's have you guys grouped up here. Let's have our navy grouped up here. With the Medici, of course. We made it a Carrick. Generally, if I ever get asked why I make it a Carrick, the, the short answer is honestly just that it is... Um, more, more, um, it punches harder and it's harder to sink. That, that's the general gist of it. That's it. No, like, uh, big brain reason. Just because it's harder to sink, so your, your flagship is more, uh, has more staying power. Michelangelo, level three artist. So I also forgot about this guy, so I need to keep him. 
actually going to upgrade you as well because I believe he gives dev cost as well, right? So level three stab guy who's 75%. That is very solid. All right, let's uh, set you guys here to uh, defend against the uh, rebels because that's going to happen. In the meantime, what we need to do here is put you guys on dev cost here. We're going to have devastation. Well, there's no devastation, but we're not going to have prosperity for a long time. Look at that. We need as much goods produced in these in these uh, high high value provinces as possible. Very good. Take a look at that. Manpower, 480 a month now. I would guarantee you we just shot up. Number three great power, and that's all we got right now. Look at that. You can see our development. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let's, uh, very good, very good. We can turn this one off over here. No need to pay for it, right? But uh, taking their trade power is also really good for us because it's going to give us a ton of money. Oh, shoot. Uh, missed opportunity there. That was going to be a level three. This one's already in Tuscany. This one here. And then we'll make this one a level three as well when I get an extra merchant, which I cannot do right now. We also need to upgrade you. And just like that, we're making 43 ducats per month. Very solid. And uh, obviously, you want to build as many production buildings as you can. And uh, might as well build some more manpower buildings. There is nothing wrong with that. And then wherever else you can build roads, always build your roads. This, these mount, these forts are good. This fort is a, my, uh, not, it's not defensive. I, when I say defensive, I just mean a dice roll for attackers is less than zero. So this is a defensive fort, AKA we get a bonus. This is actually a really good fort here in Como because this fort gives defensiveness as well as a minus two for attackers. So very, very solid buffs right there. So let's uh, get some free money here and take a look again. If there is any um, monuments that need to be attended to. I do not recall. There's one here. This Cuomo de Milano is actually really good, right? Ooh, yes. So we have a ton of these guys. We need to make sure we always have these at all times. There's literally no reason not to. And I will push to get Papal Controller. We should be. I will also pay for that yearly Papal Influence. 24, so we get two per month. That's admittedly something that I keep forgetting to look at. So that's a, that is my fault there. Get that cog down there. Get you guys up here and very good. Look at that, we stole some heavies, the cupio. I will go ahead and take this. Super far ahead of time, don't care. Let's see what policy we get from trade. If is this worth? Uh, trade efficiency, interest per annum, that's okay. What else do we have options to? We could go with like a National Propaganda is another one of my favorites here. Innovative gives improved relations and diplotech costs. Engineering gives construction costs and prestige decay. Those are both pretty good. Um, it has good ideas. It's uh, the morale and manpower is solid. Prestige is solid. Culture conversion is good. I mean, we're not doing much culture conversion, but cost of advice, rulers, cost, advisors with rulers, culture, AE impact. Let's just do it. Let's go. Let's go with National Propaganda and we'll flip over to a Diplo focus here and let's get this guy up to level five as well. Matter of fact, we should probably have level five advisors across the board here. Form Tuscany. As far as I know, there's no reason not to. So uh, let's go ahead and form Tuscany there. We are now Tuscany. This is a uh, special flag from uh, my mod, I believe. I, I have some mods linked in my mod pack. So go ahead and check those out. If you're curious why my game looks different. So as far as that goes, that means we are eligible to do these missions. We just need more crown land and lower autonomy, right? We're not at war, so we can easily lower our autonomy. So let's do that especially in provinces i don't care about the unrest like a little bit of unrest is not going to hurt me at all uh so take a look at that so our nat our average is going 10 down to 10 that's solid the issue is is as you continue to uh conquer land that's when you start running into those issues because you're you can't get this number down because you keep conquering new land <laughs> um okay so universities this one is Crown land ownership, which as we continue to dev and uh, yoink, we're going to get plenty more. So that's good. This one down here is all provinces have a road network. Well, road work ahead, road network. So I have a road network in all provinces. Oh, in this area, okay. So we just gotta wait on some buildings to finish up and we'll be able to get those done here ASAP. Very good. All right, lads. Well, I think that's a great place to call it for the episode. 
Huge conquest. We took the entire state of Lombardy, which we need to turn off that edict. The entire state of Lombardy. We also then took, we integrated Sicily. We took Malta and uh, consolidated, well, we took Urbino here and we have formed the nation of Tuscany. Are we still a republic? We are still a republic, which is cool because normally forming Tuscany, uh, you actually become a kingdom. So our ideas were the same because we had Tuscan ideas to start with. So nothing changed on that front. Lads, if you're enjoying the campaign, let me know. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord if you want to join that. There is a subreddit with plenty of good memes. Go ahead and join the subreddit. Post your best, dankest memes, as long as they're PG-13. We keep it PG-13. We're a family-friendly uh, Christian Minecraft server. And then uh, follow me over on Twitter because uh, I tweet things over there. But uh, if you want to support me on my Patreon, is linked in the description below. That's the best way to do it if you want to support content you love. That's all I got for you for today, guys. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.